Welcome to another episode of Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. We talk all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and Super Bowl? Huh? Hmm? Yes, that's right. This is now a Super Bowl podcast. Hmm. We recap the plays. <laughs> what did you think about the uh, the fourth down that, that almost saw the Cincinnati Bengals come back? I'm just kidding. My name's Emmanuel. My name is Sophia. And I guess I was joking about talking about the Super Bowl, but we're kind of talking about it. Kind of, sort of, not really, right? though. Yeah. <laughs> it just wrapped up earlier tonight. We watched it. Great game. But what we really want to talk about are mm-hmm. two specific Super Bowl commercials, really trailers mm-hmm. for the most, uh, I guess, the, the nearest <laughs> MCU stuff to us what what's so funny the, uh, the most <laughs> well i was gonna say the most nearest but that's a double negative the I most think. nearest yeah i think yes. you just say the the most the near closest. or nearest yeah the closest uh Release? show releases and, uh, releases to us yeah. uh, anyways uh, and we're talking about doctor strange <laughs> multiverse of madness mm-hmm. and moon knight oh my gosh this is it's a lot of really fun stuff i guess a lot, we'll a lot t- of stuff to unpack here a lot of stuff to unpack now i guess briefly we can talk about moon knight before we dive into the multiverse stuff oh okay um let's talk about moon knight there was a moon knight trailer mm-hmm. Mini a trailer. lot of fun I think there was a longer teaser that we saw earlier this month. Yeah, like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. But this was exciting. We saw some new stuff. We saw a little bit more of Ethan Hawke. Yes. Maybe as a villain. We saw some uh, some Moon Knight action. Some hallucinations. If or noticed, are they? Uh, what did you think about the trailer? Um, I thought it was really cool. I thought it explained a little more um, like based on his paranoia, like what he actually sees. Because I, yeah. I don't know if we saw... I don't know. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Um a lot of like his point of view, like how clear and how vivid those intense, I don't know if they're dreams or not. I mean, it could be happening IRL. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Um, but um, also his little transformation was really cool. Like where the suit just kind of took over for a second. It reminded me a lot of Venom. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it just looked really cool. Yeah. It's, it, there's a lot of allusions to the god that gives him the power, the yep. Egyptian god of, of the moon, the yes. lunar god, I yes, guess. Yes, yes, you? yes. Don't you you see you see this this god kind of behind him a couple times mm-hmm. watching him yes. and it kind of reminds me of the watcher well no just <laughs> it kind of reminds me of uh like a werewolf type story which may be what it's based off of but you know how you know if there's a full moon Oh yes, you know people who become lichens, lycanthropes. They will like chain themselves up or hide themselves, lock themselves away in a basement or something like that, right? Because they don't know what what's gonna. They just don't trust themselves. Yeah, they don't trust themselves, and there's a lot of that kind of vibe to this. That makes sense. Yeah, and it's gonna be interesting because there have been a lot of uh, news reports about Paul Paul. Paul, Paul Feig talking about how, or sorry, Kevin Feig. I was like, Paul Feig, the director of Bridesmaids? <laughs> um, Kevin Feig talking about, Kevin Feige talking. I, I don't, I still don't know okay? how to say his name. No, I mean, I, <laughs> we joke about not being able to pronounce his name. I, I don't know if it's a joke. I just, I, I really just don't, don't know. I don't know what it is, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Feige, he's talked about how this show is going to push the limits of, of I guess, the violence portrayed in Marvel, which has so far been really PG-13. It 100% seems darker than anything else that they've put out, like 100%. And we saw that in the trailer three weeks ago because yeah. you can see how intense. Also, um, Oscar, uh, have, Oscar Isaac. All right, we're both done. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oscar Isaac um, is probably like after Dune and like, you know, the other Star thing. I mean, Wars? also Star Wars. But in Star Wars, he was a bit more kid friendly. Like that was, you know, yeah. the cuter version of him. But he is a very intense actor. And I think that he's perfect perfect for this role because he has the capability of being like this there's a there's a shot in this trailer where he kind of looks at himself through a mirror or like from behind or something through a mirror and he's looking at himself very oh i don't know it, it's just it puts shivers down my back like yeah. it's just like oh my gosh oscar no i'm interested because he's a character who doesn't understand when dreams be or where the line is between dreams and reality i'm right. really interested in whether we as the audience will understand that too or if they're going to keep us guessing that's what i'm just saying just like just like uh you know he's kind of figuring it out yeah like that there's this there, there's that one scene where he's just kind of looking off in the distance and he turns around for just a quick second but then he's in the middle of this random oh, somewhere field, else yeah yeah and then he turns back and he's back where we were at the beginning and i was like whoa but like, this is that real you know there were well, a lot of our answers 
will come soon because March 30th is when Moon Knight will premiere on Disney Plus yeah. and we'll be with you episode by episode. But let's talk about the other M movie, not Moon Knight, <laughs> but Multiverse of Ooh. Madness because this was a surprise. There was no real, you know, last week with Brent, we talked a little bit about how there probably would be a superhero trailer. Right. Um, because Disney normally snaps up a couple dis or you know a couple commercial sprinkles times. Them here yeah, and sprinkles there. them here. There was an Aquafina <laughs> Disney Plus commercial, right? But we figured there would be maybe some Marvel stuff there, and we got a really big oh surprise boy, did with we? the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Mm -hmm. A whole lot in this. I think that there's nothing that's really spelled out for you. No. Apart from Doctor Strange and maybe some Wanda stuff. A lot of but action. There, a lot of action. <laughs> or the, kind of even those trippy scenes that are visuals that yes. you want. Psychedelic, world of indie stuff that mm -hmm. the original Doctor Strange has. But yeah. if you, um, you know, dive into some of the imagery and some of the voices that you hear in this episode, there's quite a bit that's revealed here, including the existence of a group. Mm-hmm. Uh, of uh, superheroes that a lot of people are thinking are the Illuminati, which which in the comic books are are kind of cross dimensional, the best heroes from across dimensions that kind of police um, the the goings on. So people that are included in this group are Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Professor X, mm -hmm. uh, Reed Richards from Fantastic Four. And we kind of heard something here, and a lot of uh, there's a lot of rumors out there. And here's a big one I don't think you know about, but Tom Cruise is in this movie, is what? what? One of, yeah, Tom that Cruise. That I did not know. Is well, he's not confirmed. He's not on IMDb, but there's a huge rumor that Tom Cruise plays hmm. an Iron Man variant in this um, movie. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, Iron Man Iron Man originally was offered to Tom Cruise, who who said no, and they gave it to Robert Downey Jr., and mm. Tom Cruise probably made a huge mistake there. <laughs> yeah. Knows? But he's super successful. But it'll be funny if he is in this as, like, ultimate Iron Man because... Because it would have been him. Yeah, it would have been him, and a lot of people wouldn't be expecting it. I wouldn't be that surprised if it happens. But let, let's talk about generally, Sophia, what do you think about that multiverse trailer? Ooh, do you want to do a trailer reaction video? Man, I mean... I... <laughs> Just from from the jump, we were just kind of looking for things to give us some more info. Like we knew that these little illusions were going to be there. We knew that like we were going to get that trippy dippy that Doctor Strange brings yeah. to the table anyway. We heard Wanda was We've in this. Been known that Wanda was going to be up in here. Um, and I, I, we just kind of wanted to see who else was going to be crossed over because with the multiverse, I mean, we've been talking about it for like a year. So we figured that there was going to be a, a huge, huge impact on this movie with like within the. MCU in general and um, hearing that voice um, I want to say it was uh, a dick oh my god they're gonna fight it's Patrick Stewart and yes and oh well nothing confirmed but it sounds a lot okay. like Patrick Stewart but, as Professor X yes. from the X-Men so, movies that we know and when you hear something like that it's probably going to happen And so, like, just getting a little snippet, a little, a little crumb, a little crumb of a clue. Um, yeah, the whole internet's going insane, and uh, our be our living room included. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I was already super psyched to see Wanda, and just also like those emotional scenes. And sh she is not wrong. Okay, I loved her little line in there about like, oh, okay, it's cool for you to break the rules, and it's cool for you to be this type of variant like personality that you got going on over here, like breaking the rules in order to like fix the world or whatever. But Whenever I do it, it's frowned upon. Yeah. And I was and like, that, yes, okay, snap. Scarlet Witch, mm -hmm. who is who Wanda becomes kind of in during the WandaVision show, right. is a major villain yeah. in, in the Marvel comic books. And, you know, for a while I was watching, when we were watching WandaVision, I was like, okay, I can see this maybe happening, but she's just really kind still. She's, yeah. But the, I think there could be a version of her that's incredibly angry at Doctor Strange. And there is mm -hmm. the, I, there there's the House of M, which yeah she could really blow things up in the MCU. I mean, if they she showed to. up in a pretty big house. If okay. you ask me, in the trailer. Okay. Also, um, there was a sprinkle of um a pretty dark Doctor Strange that was up in there yeah. too. It was like, oh my gosh, it. I, I'm just reminded you of what if, right? It that did. Yeah, a hundred percent. Sorcerer um, Supreme stuff. There's maybe yeah. even a zombie Doctor Strange or mm -hmm. some kind of like undead Doctor Strange he in was here. Busted. <laughs> I'm 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 really interested in the appearance of some characters we haven't seen yet. 
who are getting their own shows. America Chavez. Yes, yes. Uh, played by Sochil Gomez. She's in this trailer as mm-hmm, well. And we know that she's yeah. going to be a huge part of it. Something else that happens with the... Uh, with with her storyline is is um, a lot of connection to Miss Marvel, mm. and some people did a freeze frame of what looked like someone on fire, like Human Torch style, flying Ooh. through space, and it it could be Maria Rambo, Monica Rambo's mom. Oh, that's who true. went missing in space yeah. or something like that. And yeah, it would make sense. So the Illuminati is the smartest people mm-hmm. in the dimensions are there so that's you know we talked about professor x and stuff right already and reed richards and iron man but maria rambo is really smart mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. C- captain marvel yeah is up there so it makes sense for them to be a part of this really special group of smart people of course i would be up there too right right right. right i right. would be the president <laughs> of the illuminati i was honestly looking for fantastic four little snippets because yeah. of the whole fox and disney a, it, coll- it's collab a now. great way to introduce the fantastic four because reed richards is incredibly smart can't kind can't be in the universe of of marvel that we already know because right. you know it's he's set in new york and Gosh, how often are we in New York? <laughs> There's now? too much going yeah, on. Yeah, he would just pop up out of nowhere and be like, "Hey, I'm Reed Richards." But yeah, it makes sense for them to introduce it here, and I guess even just Professor X would a brilliant way to kind of loop in the X- the Fox X Men. Yeah. Also, I mean, keep in mind that this is just a trailer. Like, there is always something that's going to be. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be leaked, but there's going to be something that's probably going yeah. to be leaked, or that's going to just blow our minds when we're actually in the theater. Or well, looking, I want to ask you this: it. after watching this trailer, and Marvel's been really good about kind of hiding or subverting or putting not a lot of not with Spider Man a lot of red no. herrings uh, <laughs> into who the villain will be. Oh yes. Okay. I don't. I even No Way Home. We really didn't even know who the villain was and really the villain was like nobody <laughs> nobody like it, there was really hard to even pinpoint what it was so but <laughs> they they do a great eternals when we when that came out shang chi when it came out like you didn't really know who the who the, the main bad guy, bad guy the was bad guy. Go, 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 bad guy. do you get the sense that this is going to be kind of wanda they added that really angry line from her in this and you do see two of her in the trailer you yeah. see like older version devastated of wanda, wanda that's like still heartbroken and going and through powerful it. and then you angry see scarlet, scarlet witch. witch so i mean that's very possible this could be her origin to her bad guy story mm. you know like go guy bad guy now yeah but um i mean i hope not because i love her so much and i would not want to see her turn right now like my because i'm going through so much (laughs) personally no but um yeah no i really wouldn't want to see that yet but if that's where the story has to go then that's 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 where where the story is gonna go and she's honestly a formidable opponent like she could oh yeah she could she could fight dr strange Uh like and not Uh have an issue with it at all right i'm interested too in the illuminati it could be that that's kind of what dr strange is fighting against Mm -hmm. because they're i mean in loki at least there was just this big thing of let the let the streams do whatever they want let the timelines go crazy let them loose (laughs) you know and also i i'm i'm interested how this relates to kang the conqueror i was gonna say does 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 loki happen before yeah, it happens. I mean, before. so so then this is totally gonna be like this could totally be this is truly madness. Yeah, yeah, like I I feel like maybe we're dealing with the repercussions of what happens in with Loki. Loki. That would make mm. sense to me. I don't okay. know how how Kang will play in because he's the one at the end of all these timelines. Apparently, the end now of I'm all the universes. I'm trying to think of if we were in his little palace there for a second i need to rewatch the thing yeah the trailer yeah. well i'm sure a lot of people are catching a I'm lot sure. of oh for sure they're little d- tiny <laughs> things but again i they're feel like it. we really don't even know and sam raimi uh just what three days ago said yeah. in an interview that they may not be 100 percent done filming mm-hmm. you know the main stuff is all done but he says that marvel's really good about doing test audiences and mm-hmm. things like that and uh, you know, this seems like it's a pretty complicated story. So if there's things the audience doesn't understand, then they'll have to go back and, you know, figure out a way to, I guess, explain it a little bit easier yeah. for everyone. Because obviously, like, we're just ready for it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if it's if it's something that's kind of wild and... But they're going to do a good job. No Way Home is a complicated movie yeah. and storyline and, mm-hmm. and it kind of made sense. 
I mean, kind of. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, it did make <laughs> it's sense. It's a huge you know? movie. <laughs> They're looping in all these different Spider Man and villains, and it works, and it's not too laborious in I the feel explaining. Like we would be a very biased <laughs> we are biased. test audience. <laughs> we are definitely biased. Don't they, test they would audience show us. us. The first, they would show us the first draft and be like, no, it's perfect, like, guys. It's good. Just release it. We'll take it. But <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see what this this movie is. And But that one, we don't have to wait too long either because that comes out May 6, 2022, Ooh. near your the, birthday. It's so near my birthday. Um, and that's only like four months away. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, actually three months away. Three months, March, yeah. April, May. Three yeah. months. Mm-hmm. Wow, we're so close. We're going to blink and it's going to be there. I know. And it, 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 that's why we're talking about it now because by the time Moon Knight starts, which is in three weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be wrapped up in Moon Knight. When Moon Knight ends, that's the premiere or, of, of Doctor Strange. Yeah. And then the, another series premieres. And so mm-hmm. it, this is... You know, last year... It's the beginning of the yeah. end. <laughs> you haven't done up an ep in a, in a while. I have not. Hello. There's not, there's not been a lot of new Marvel content. Right. But soon, we'll be Moon Knight Mondaying it. M- Moon Knight Monday. Mon- Moon Knight Moon Mondaying Knight it. Monday. Yeah. Hashtag M and M. M and M's. M and M's. Well, any <laughs> other big takeaways from the Doctor Strange trailer that we saw for, uh, in the Super Bowl? Anything that you're super psyched about, or um, my imagination? I'm super. <laughs> in my imagination, I'm super psyched because I really want to see other things that we've seen here in the from the past, kind of leading to what we're going to see in the future in May. Um, because I just, it's just when you say multiverse of madness, like everything is coming to my mind yeah. so i'm like yeah give it to give it all do it all yeah like, I don't, it doesn't even need to make sense to me i would just love <sighs> to see a bunch of it on the screen yeah um and i would be happy no but yeah. um yeah no I, i'm just like to see scarlet and i want to see what happens with her um for sure if the x-men or fantastic four are going to be sprinkled in there that'd be great um and then i mean who lo- who doesn't love dr strange he's like in my top three so yeah i'm, I'm f- I'm so psyched. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm fucking psyched, but yeah, I'm psyched. <laughs> and, and and you know, uh, uh, Rachel McAdams is a lot of the Doctor Strange oh, people are my in this, God, don't in this she, too. She, it, the sorcerers, the, the current sorcerers supreme, Mordo is in this. A lot of people from the original Doctor Strange, yeah. but it seems like this is a lot of other stuff. Rachel, too. baby girl, I don't know who I have to talk to to get a hold of you, but I love you. Love, yeah. I love her. She has since. I mean, she has always been in my top five. Yeah, and I hope she's. Chicks. I like, hope she's in always. this. I'm hope. I hope she's in this movie a lot more than it seems like she's going to be. Yeah, they just like said that they they set up like that yeah. one scene with her. <laughs> but I'm I'm really excited again. The intro. Uh, this is the multiverse movie. Mm-hmm. No way home is not the multiverse movie. I know it's a lot of great Spider-Man stuff, but this is the actual this multiverse is the one that's going to bust everything. movie. So I'm really yeah. excited about it. If the Illuminati exists, that's just bonkers. And for me, expectations are are pretty high. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I think we're going to enjoy it regardless. But you know, I I can't I can't imagine Marvel not doing something big. Yeah, they're going to do it up, and they're going to do it up. Like Especially- it's not going to be like a they don't do the little walk through cameo stuff anymore. No. They, this if Professor X is in this movie, he's going to be up he's in here in this movie. Yeah, like we thought this with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. We're like, can't wait for that cameo. Yeah, and then they were and in, like, they're the in the whole thing, the last third of the movie. So. <laughs> I would expect something really similar here, um, yeah. and you know, it's it's going to be bonkers. Mm-hmm. I would say if you stay off the internet if you don't want spoilers, because I'm sure by now there's quite a bit that's out there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Man, I'm going to look at it anyway. Okay, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> let us let us know what you thought about the trailers that we saw. What you're most excited for? You can follow us at Delphin Pod D L F I N P O D or support the pod at patreoncom slash Pod. D-E-L-F-I-N-P-O-D. There's exclusive content there, including video stuff. Ooh. But Sophia, what do you have to plug? Um, just thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to be back. I know it's been a little bit, so hi, everyone. Um, but and you live in the house, I live in the, the home with me. I live in the same home as you <laughs> hmm. i'm just three two bedrooms away yeah. so it's just not it's not even a big deal three um, bedrooms away well wow. I, ca- I counted the total like one two three oh, but I see, it's, I see. it's yeah um no but in uh, our that's that's like what in that's not even most of our 16 bedroom home <laughs> right. of our mansion <laughs> Um, but, uh, no, same old, same old stuff, guys. Thank you so much for supporting us and, 
I'm, I'm just happy to be here. You know, it's just all a great time. And uh, hey, lo- just like the Super Bowl, it's an honor just to just even be to there. be here. Yeah, to be yeah. the final two. Like the Oscars, just an honor just to be it's nominated. An honor just to be nominated. Just to be here, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, if you want to follow me on any of my personal socials, you sure can. Everything's gonna be at underscore simply Sophie S O F I E E. And then uh, please continue to support the pod, even when I'm not on it. It still goes such a long way. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> thanks so much for listening again listen to all of the other dolphin pod shows you can find them everywhere pods are available oh yeah and stay tuned we've got some other big news we'll be back next week with a new episode and of course mm-hmm. we'll be back to talk about moon night, night. <sighs> but until moon night i want to say good night mm, uh, to you what if they're listening to this during the day good morning what good afternoon you- <laughs> and good night. Just have a great day. <laughs> yeah, we got to do like a news sign off. Bye-bye, babies. Bye. Bye.